Hey guys, I'm Jimmy Kane from Howard 360. It's December 12th, 2014. We've got a great show for you today. We've got Nick Williams. He had a great season last year, and he's going to give us some insight on the wrestling team for this year. Next, we got Winterfest coming up, and we're we're going to get some info on what activities you can expect. And finally, it's a special day today. It's Hour of Code. It's happening all across the country. And we're going to go to Lon Ray and Mrs. Ann for more information. Now back to the studio. Good morning, Howard. I'm Nolan Dunnigan. And I'm Matt Yeagle. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. So, Matt, I've noticed you've been getting in some trouble lately. Yeah, but luckily I don't have any referrals. Well, you know what that means. No, what? You can go to uh, Winterfest. I've heard about Winterfest before in the last episode. What can you tell me more about? Well, Matt, it's funny you ask. Right now, I know Winterfest is going to be held in a bunch of different locations around the school right before break. Last year, I had a good time hanging out with my friends and, you know, just listening to some music in the auditorium. I'm thinking this year is going to be a little bit similar, but I'm not totally sure. We sent out our investigative reporter, Brooklyn Salada, down to the auditorium to see if she could get a sneak peek of this year's Winterfest. I have no idea. Let's go. Uh, hey, hey, sir, uh, can we, uh, just slip in real quick? Nah. Not? I, I can't bring the camera or anything? No, only people part one press with inside. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, that's that's good. That's that's okay. We'll just you know, we'll just find another way in here. Oh, oh, hey, sir, can we uh, can we just no, come in? No, you guys can't be. You gotta get out. No. You gotta leave. You guys no. You can't be. You can't here. ask some questions no. or. That's... No. No. <sighs> we'll find another way. But for right now, just make sure you don't get any referrals, and you'll be in Winterfest. was having a difficult time getting a backstage look at Winterfest. It seems like the organizers are being pretty tight-lipped about this event. Yeah, but you know one thing. Yep, if you do your best, you go to Winterfest. No referrals from me, that's for sure. Haha, <laughs> I hear you, Matt. Beyond Winterfest, we got some other updates about what's happening here at Howard. First, a reminder that Baking Club's next meeting is next Friday, 2.30 to 4.30, and they will be making crumb cake just in time for the holidays. Also, anyone out there wishing to uh, sign up for a te National Tech Honor Society should see Mr. Murray in room E101. There will be a short meeting Monday, December 15th in the same room, E101. Also, there is a wrestling meet tonight at Magruder High School, which Google says is about 30 minutes away from here in Howard County. Matt, have you ever uh, been to a wrestling tournament before? Yeah, that's pretty, uh, they're pretty awesome. I heard you say there's one tonight. I checked the calendar and it's at 4 o'clock, so don't be late. Yep, but if you can't go to the wrestling meet tonight, don't worry. We sent out our sports reporter, Chipper Brockman, to meet up with senior wrestler Nick Williams to learn a little bit more about the sport and what, can, what we can expect from this year's team. Let's go to Chipper in the wrestling room. Howard Wrestling has a history of success. Last year, Jared Rodriguez was a state champion. I'm going out to talk with Nick Williams, a senior and leader on the wrestling team, to learn more about wrestling. Hi, I'm Chipper Brockman. Today I'm here with Nick Williams from our wrestling team. How you doing, Nick? Doing all right, Chipper. Today he's going to teach us how to do the slide by move. So Nick, can you kind of just walk us through that real quick? Yeah, sure. So basically, I just tie up with Chipper, and when I take his arm and he walks into me, all I do is throw his arm by. So it's pretty much like this. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that's how it's done. Thank you, Nick. Problem, Chipper. Back to Nolan Matt at the studio. Oh, I hope Chipper didn't allow Nick to practice any more moves on him. We may be looking for a new sports reporter if Chipper keeps taking a pounding like that. And in other news, there will be an interest meeting for a new club that's forming, the Feminist Association, today at 2.15 in B110. I don't think I'll be attending this one, but feel free to come out if you're interested. And also, Howard, the next Fandomonium Society meeting is today at 2.15 and end 2.11. Come out and learn about fandoms. So we have some last minute announcements. The ASL club members, don't forget that our holiday party is planned for this Monday, December 15th, after school. Please meet in Ms. Lazar's room and bring a treat for you to share. See you then. 
And uh, please remember to uh, bring in new or gently used donations for the mitten and glove drives sp sponsored by the ASL club. Donation boxes are located in English classrooms. If everyone could just bring in one pair, we could help a lot of people this winter. And also, attention, all Winter Festival performers working with Ms. Ro Mr. Roberts, there will be two mandatory rehearsals before the show, Monday, December 15th, and Friday, December 19th, from 2.30 to 4.30 in the music wing. Please see Mr. Roberts in the music wing as soon as possible. And finally, Nolan, did you hear that the first week ever, National Coding Week? Yeah, that's right, Howard. And if you've never tried your hand at coding before, you're going to get a, your chance today during the Hour of Code. We sent our Howard High School reporter, Lon Ray Ocean, out to Mr. Zarin to gain more insight into this growing field. Let's go to Ro Lon Ray to see what he can find out. Hey, I'm Lon Ray Ocean, here to speak about coding, which has rarely been spoken about here at Howard, and some students don't even know exists. Hey, I'm here with Mr. Zarin of Howard High School. We're here to talk a little bit about programming. So what exactly is coding? Uh, so coding, also known as programming, is the process of uh, recognizing a problem, thinking, analyzing it, uh, thinking about all the different variables or what's required in it, and then to implement uh, all those ideas and steps into a solution or into, into the process or the product that you want. Why is it important to learn this programming? Uh, Steve Jobs once said that everyone should, should learn how to program because it teaches you how to think. Do we offer this here at Howard? So we have the intro level, which is honors computer science, also known as uh, computer design solutions. Uh, the second level is principles of computer science, which is a GT level class. And then we also have the computer science AP level. What students in particular would benefit from learning this? So uh, you don't have to be an AP or an, an straight A student. You don't have to be a genius. Uh, you have to have a little motivation, a little drive, and then have the ability to, to keep working through a frustrating situation. Lastly, how would these students use these programming skills in real life? Programming and having that exposure in high school will carry over and help you uh, be able to work through those new softwares and those new programs. All right, thank you very much. Cool, nice talking to you. Thanks so much, Mr. Zarin and Lon Ray, for educating us on the coding program here at Howard. That was very insightful. Looking back, I wish I got involved with computer coding. Yeah, I feel the same way. And finally, a reminder to teachers that following this episode, there will be a video from Mr. Piper describing the hour of code in more detail and how we can get involved, at least a little bit. Well, that's all we have for today. I'm Matt Yeagle. And I am Nolan Dunningham. Have, have a fantastic, fantastic Friday, Friday, Howard. Here we are. We all depend on technology to communicate, to bank, and none of us know how to read and write code. The first program I wrote asked uh, things like, what's your favorite color, or how old are you? I wrote a program to play tic-tac-toe. I first learned how to make a green circle and a red square appear on the screen. You're just trying to make something, trying to transfer something from your mind to the computer or to, to a tablet. It's, uh, it's uh, it's an experience. The whole limit in the system is just that there just aren't enough people who are trained and have these skills today. The programmers of tomorrow are the wizards of the future. You know, you're going to look like you have magic powers compared to everybody else. Great coders are today's rock stars. That's it. Good morning, Howard High School. I'm Mr. Piper, and I'm going to walk you through creating your first code. During this week, more than 30,000 schools across the world are participating in events just like this to introduce students to the basics of computer programming. Don't worry if you don't have any experience coding. The people at Code.org have created several learning modules for us to work through. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to pull out your cell phone and open up a web browser. Now, if you don't have a cell phone, that's all right. Just pair up, pair up with the person nearest you that has one. Now, what I want you to do, open up that web browser and go to code.org. That's C-O-D-E dot org. Again, code.org. You should see something like this. Scroll down until you see the Start button. 
click on it. Find the area that says Tutorials for Mobile Devices. Make sure you see Mark Zuckerberg and the Angry Birds. Click on Go. Make sure you rotate your phone sideways. Also, make sure the rotation lock is off to optimize the canvas area. This is the Canvas Studio. You'll notice as you work through the different modules that there will be pop-ups along the way. Make sure you read through these modules and pay attention because they usually give us a good idea of what we're trying to accomplish. Click OK. This is our actual Canvas Code Studio. Over here, you'll notice that that's where we're actually going to create our code. These different blocks are our movements that will ultimately command our Flappy Bird, our Angry Bird, to run into our pig. In this one, what we're trying to do is we're trying to move our bird two spaces to run into our pig. Our when run command tells us that whenever we click our run button down in the left hand corner underneath our map, anything underneath it will command our angry bird to move. Okay, in this case we already have one move forward command. What we'll have to do is we'll have to drag one more over. When we're ready to run our program, simply click run and watch what happens. To see the code that you actually generated, you can click on Show Code. And there are our commands. Hit Continue and continue working through the different modules. As you're working through the different modules, you'll notice new commands come up. The three types of commands are Movement, Loop, and If Else Statements. You've already done some work with movement statements, mainly the move forward. Notice how you can also rotate your figure left or right 90 degrees. Watch as my bird turns left, moves forward, turns left one more time to finish the course. The next series of commands are loop commands. Loop commands will do whatever is in the bracket for as many times as is labeled or until a certain goal is reached. In this activity, my bird is going to move forward twice, turn left, and repeat that until it gets to the pig. The last set of commands are if-else statements. The computer uses these to check to see if the statement is true. If it is true, it will do what's in the bracket. If it's not true, it will move down to the else statement. Notice how I'm using all three types of commands. Watch as the squirrel moves through the course. As soon as it notices that there's an opening to the left, it is going to turn left. That's the application of an if command. If there's an opening one way, turn that way. <laughs> well, there you have it, Howard High. Enjoy generating your first codes. And while you're doing that, enjoy some vintage video game music. <laughs>